Can you let us hear some samples of the sounds you're working on? I sure can. Boy diggity. Oh. <laughs> so I'd try that again. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Boy diggity? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you show us some samples of what you're working on right now? No problem. Uh, with regard to um, the Atari lineup, I've loaded that setup right here. And uh, I can just play a couple of these examples. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, and again, I'm, I'm, we're, we're approaching this from the point standpoint of uh, emotional accuracy. So, for instance, if we start with, say, a pistol uh, down here, it, uh, okay, a pistol, well, this is, I think, a Glock. <coughs> yeah, so it's like, oh, no, that's, that's the Beretta. <coughs> it's like, okay, that sounds, that sounds okay, you know, but if, you know, we don't want the player to necessarily feel safe with that. Just like with a dart gun, we don't want you defending yourself with this. You know, it's not very meaty. Uh, now, if we go to, say, a shotgun uh, down a little further here, 3A is one of my favorites. This is one we do want you to feel safe with. And then you've got the, uh, the, the chambering action, too, you know. So, you know, it, there's a definite emotional difference to that. Uh, even with, say, like rifles, one of the early rifles, I think that's based off the M40A3. That's got a, you know, interesting sound to it. Uh, this also is another example. That one is a very, very simple rifle. It doesn't have a lot of kick to it. But if we go a little further to, say, the 2A, uh, which I remember correctly is based off the M107, that's got a much bigger thump to it. So again, it's all about making you feel a certain way when you're holding that weapon in your hand. And also when you hear these reporting from different locations, uh, you know, along with the, the reverb delays that might be coming along with that, uh, we've got a couple clips coming up. Uh, I don't know if they'll be released by the time this comes out, but um, there's this great moment where there's a guy that our group is attacking a bunch of Jaffa, and this guy is stealthed, and we're all shooting them, distracting them, and all of a sudden you hear this boom, bang, and the guy just drops on the ground, you know, so there's this, you know, sort of threat that's, you know, this, emo this uh, you know, this moment that it's just really, really cool to, do, to hear these reporting from all the place, and if you've got a surround sound system like this, that really pays off, too. Um, and then even stuff like the, uh, the light machine guns, these are some of my favorites. The C line in particular is nice because they, uh, they've got some meat to them. Uh, that's 3C, uh, let me play uh, 4C. And then 5C, which is the Big Mama, uh, right here. <laughs> you know, so we, we want, I wanted to send p players a message that we're standing in front of that gun, and that message is, go away now. Uh, you know, and so that's, that's created by crying, you know, it's done by, like, very violent sound effects. Even things with, like, <laughs> if you're empty or if you're reloading it. And we've also got the, the, the ever-famous flamethrowers that uh, you guys saw previously in those videos. You didn't get to hear them, but uh, as an example of what that sounds like, we've got uh, one, the Tier 1, <laughs> Tier 3, and Tier 5. 